Okay, this isn't really a modding video, it's more of an accessorized video. This is part of a plastic toy fire extinguisher, which I want to add, so I'm going to start adding additions. You know, we're going to start accessorizing the pack. And I want this to be on the side there, you might have seen a picture of it on there. There's the plastic lid thing, I'll take it out. Uh, I'm going to paint this. And I'm going to paint this like a yellow and black style, like a hazard tape kind of thing. But in paint, I'm going to weather it and chip it using toothpaste. Which is a system I'm also going to use when I paint up the stand. I'm going to do a similar thing. So I'm going to do it on this first. Show you how this works. Uh, I've got an event coming up this weekend, so I want to get this done by the weekend. Get on the pack, make it look good. And then next week, I'm going to do my stand and uh, give that a lick of paint. And weather to a point where I'm really happy with it. Let's do this. So the first thing I need to do, I need to prime this. So I'm going to go outside. Uh, it's cold out there. Really cold, but it's not as cold as it has been. And I'm going to prime this with grey. Uh, and you have to think about how you want this to look in the end. So this is going to have a, like a chrome effect. So it's going to be as if this was a chrome uh, fire extinguisher. I've been painted black and then had yellow stripes put on it. So you have to do it in kind of stages. Uh, and in each stage, we're going to add some toothpaste to add like chips, a chip effect. I'm going to show you how I do that as I do it. But let's get this primed up first. Okay, so I've done the primer. Uh, add a couple of coats. Keep it really, really light. Don't put it all on, otherwise you're going to get drips. And do a couple of coats. Depending on the colour of the plastic underneath, uh, you are going to need a primer. Now, I bought a little set here. Now, I've got, let me see, this high coat set. These are actually car paints. So, these are paints if you want to respray your car. So, it comes with a little primer. It comes with whatever colour you want. In this case, I've got like a double acrylic Ford Moon Dust Silver. So, it's going to be silver. This would be like the colour of the... Uh, uh, metal, so we're looking for metal colour, so nice silver, and then it comes with a clear lacquer, so we can uh, finish it afterwards. So, but the only thing you've got to remember this is that it's going to take a couple of coats. So, I'm going to spray this, it's only a little can, but that's fine, it's only a little, little bit we've got to do. And I'm going to spray it just in areas that I'm going to be wanting to show through. So, you don't need to do the whole thing, I probably will do the whole thing because it's so small anyway, it doesn't really matter. But the idea of this is you have to remember that, that we're doing this in stages. So this will be the metal stage. The next stage is going to be black. So after we put this on, we're going to cover it in black. But we want to show some of this through. So after this is dried, we're going to apply a little bit of toothpaste. Now this is a movie prop uh, idea that I've got off a few people online. And it's a really good way. What I would normally do here is spray it all up, get it all sprayed up, and then use rub and buff to make it look good bring out some scratches, but with this technique, we can actually bring out some like uh, proper, like as if it's been thrown around and dented and it's got, you know, loads of not just scratches, but proper, proper like scuffs. So it's really scuffed up and it looks really good. I've seen other people using this technique, so I'm going to use it. And then with the yellow paint, we're going to do the same thing with that. So the yellow stripes, so it's going to be like a black and yellow stripe effect. Uh, will have the same effect on it and it's going to look pretty cool. You'll understand at the end of the video what I mean. It's hard to explain, but you just need to do it in layers and remember then, then the clear coat lacquer is going to go on top of everything. So don't do anything just yet. We're going to, we've even got to weather it up first. So we need to weather it. Then we're going to do a clear coat lacquer so nothing comes off. Uh, to be honest, the yellow I've got is a plastic coat, which is brilliant. If you're going to use any kind of sprays, either high coat or plastic coat, I highly recommend these things are incredible, especially plastic coat. It's, it's really durable. It goes on pretty thick, uh, but it's like weatherproof. You know, you're going to be absolutely fine. You wouldn't even really need plas uh, like a sealant. However, you know, we're going to seal everything anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this. Keep, keep with the video. I'm going to put some silver on it now because I think it's about dry. And then we'll get to the black after that. Let's do this. Okay, so here we have it with a just a small coat of the silver. Now this looks very metallic, it's quite nice, but what we want to do now is paint it black. But we also want to leave areas that we think are going to be chipped. And by doing that, we're going to use toothpaste. 
and just your standard normal toothpaste. I'm going to try and show you how I do it. A bit of Colgate there, Colgate Total, why not? Uh, and just in areas like along the, the ridges, the two ridges I've got there, they would definitely be chipped because they're going to knock on stuff and we're going to give that a bit of a chip effect. Let's do this. I'm going to see if I can, uh, see if I, and other areas as well, but mainly those areas. Let's have a try. Try and be as random as you possibly can do. I just use my finger quickly, and now I'm going to add some plastic coat again. I use plastic coat a lot. Uh, this is a matte black. I don't want a shiny black. I want a matte black for this. And uh, yeah, once this has dried, we'll be able to wipe off where the toothpaste was, and we'll have chips and scrapes. Hopefully, let's have a look. Okay, so black is finished and I've rubbed off where I had the toothpaste and it looks like scrapes and dinks and cracks and all kinds of bits and pieces. I don't know, it's really good. I did scrape off a bit too hard in one place and got a bit of red back, uh, but that's fine. I can touch that up with a bit of silver paint pen. Uh, so yeah, I really like it. It's coming on really well. And the next step is to mask this up for the yellow paint. So let's do that. Okay, so when you've got it to where you want it covered to where you're going to paint the yellow, if that makes sense, I now need to apply some toothpaste on the areas that I want to be cracked and chipped in the yellow. And that might mean that some of these straight lines won't actually be straight because I don't really want them straight. So I want them to be chipped where it's been painted. This is the next level paint. So I've got painted black. Now I painted it yellow, but I also want to make sure that the yellow's chipped. So let's add a little bit of toothpaste to where I'm going to be spraying the yellow. Let's do this. Okay, so now I have it all lubed up with uh, toothpaste. I'm going to be using my plastic coat yellow on this now let's do that okay as you can see it's all painted up it's just dry and i can't leave it outside because it is now raining outside uh no can say hi hi yeah so once this is dry remember it's really thick so it's going to take a little bit of a bit of time uh it's getting there but it's going to take a bit more time to dry so maybe an hour or so it's quite a thick coat of paint it may need a second coat, I don't know, because it's, it's gone a little bit thin in areas, but I'm not too worried, because it's going to get a weathering, right? So it doesn't matter too much. Uh, but once that's done, I can then take all the tape off, and then start on the toothpaste. Let's get into that, that's going to be fun. Top tip, when this is dry and you want to take the toothpaste off, take the toothpaste off first, don't un undo the, the tape. Because the toothpaste now has the yellow paint in it and it's wet. And if you take the tape off first and then the toothpaste, you might rub it onto the areas you don't want the yellow. Top tip. Okay. Not too bad there's a few little red bits i need to touch up but actually not bad i like it look at all the scrapes and scratches and stuff like that look dinks and stuff i like this it's going to get a weathering it's not finished uh and then it's going to get i've got a black acrylic paint pen 
that areas like this just fill that little area in there and there was a little area on the bottom I need to do in a minute as well but apart from that I like it it's good once it's had a weathering and it's uh, all sorted I might have overdone it maybe on the on the chips I don't know but I actually like like it proper weathered effect I think it looks really effective I do like it and I'm gonna be getting into uh, the weathering later because I haven't got the bits with me at the moment is they're coming before 10 tonight from Amazon and that's some chalkboard paint Now I've used chalkboard paint before for other cosplays and it's a, a, a very effective way of weathering I learned from Ace Cosplay that's the founder and uh, leader of the uh, Imperial Outlanders which is a Star Wars costuming group uh, Get weathered later and then it'll have it'll be sealed up. I'm gonna seal it all over so none of this will come off Hopefully it might chip a little bit now and again when it gets dinked, but it's going to get put on the pack with a little bit of Velcro because it's not very heavy at all and it will Velcro probably to the side of my LS pack. I mean, li I'm liking this. It looks really good. Let me know what you think so far down in the comments, uh, uh, but let's get on to the next stage now. Okay, we're on to the weathering. Now, <laughs> I chipped that loose. I might have overdone it. I don't know. I and mean, I like it. I don't know what you think. Let me know down in the comments, but... First part of the weathering is going to be always the rum buff. Silver, I'm, we've done the, the dinks and the chips and stuff. Now we need to add some scratches and this is really good stuff, guys. Uh, I can't emphasize enough how much this is silver leaf. I've used this on different cosplays to weather. So all you need is you only need a little bit and then a paintbrush. An old paintbrush like this that is really old and danky. Look, I use it all the time. Uh, can you see that there? Yeah. Uh, if you buy a new paintbrush, cut it off and then chip into it, and it'll give you something like that. I don't know if you can see that. Is that going to be any good? That's really, really, and that's going to give you the scratch effects. So I'm going to do some of that. scratches I don't know if you can see that on there nicely scratched up we've got a nice scratch along here and it won't take long for that to dry by the way uh, let me just get you a little bit more there you go I'm now going to be adding the weathering this is the this is the tricks so this is blackboard paint this is uh, chalkboard black paint and it is water based so if you add you, you can't see in there but I've added so you can see underneath, look, look, I've added a little bit in there and added some water. Now, this is where it gets tricky. Be careful you don't make a mess. The idea of this is to dab a bit on, wipe it off. If it's not enough, dab some more on, wipe it off. So you're going to need a couple of bits of kitchen roll. And here goes. Right. So where you're going to see this most is on, going to be on the grey and the yellow. So proper dirtying it up. Don't need a lot on there initially. So I've used this technique on most of my cosplays actually, funny enough. To weather, including Star Wars stuff. Really does give nice weathered touch like well, it's been been thrown around I don't even see on there can you see that proper looking weathered up and just build on it you know if it's not enough add some more
Hmm, I'm happy with that. I've even done some weathering on the nozzle, which is quite good. I've had a bit of rub and buff and a bit of weathering on there. So I'm really happy with this. I'm going to put it together. I need to now spray it to finish it off, and I've got some clear matte lacquer, which is like a, uh, a sealant. I'm going to seal all this up, leave it overnight, maybe give it another coat tomorrow, and then get it on my pack. So by the time you see this video, uh, it'll be on the pack, and hopefully I've got some pictures for you. Right, let's do this. Cheers. And here is the completed R course. The next morning, it is really good. I really like it. It's, it's now uh, sealed, so it's gonna go on my pack. I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet, probably with a bit of Velcro, and I'm really happy with it. Let me know what you think in the comments, if this, this looks any good. Uh, and if you think I should do something similar to my stand, I really want to do it. I really want to, I'm probably not going to go as far with the chips on the stand, give it a bit more natural. But this thing's been beaten up, beaten around. Uh, I really like it. What do you think? Let me know. Till the next one, uh, whack a thumbs up on this video if you liked it. Leave me a comment down below and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hit the notification bell to get updates every time I upload a new video. I've got some more videos coming very soon. Some interior stuff being done inside here. Probably later on today. Uh, so, uh, yeah, keep up to date. See you soon. Bye.